Hey, everybody. It is Friday. Welcome to Live at Five. I'm Andy Lefkowitz. And I'm Beth Stevens. We have such a good guest today. You yes. guys are so lucky. I mean, we're lucky because we're in the yeah, same room with her. No kidding. Jenna Oshkowitz is here from the new movie, Hello Again. Woo! Yes, some applause, please. Yes. But first we have some news. We sure some do. News. So Kick it off. congratulations to Junk. For opening last night, that's Ayad Akhtar, yes. who won a Pulitzer Prize for Disgrace, that playwright, um, directed by Doug Hughes, starring Stephen Pasquale, opened at the Vivian Beaumont Theater last night. And we have some photos on the site. And we also, if you watch the Broadway.com show this week, you will see some opening night coverage and a red carpet challenge yeah. all coming at you. Awesome red carpet challenge. And if you love financial thrillers and who doesn't see yes. junk. Indeed, so that's, that's y'all. exciting. We have some new casting for School of Rock. Um, Lori Eve Meritnachi will be joining the company as Rosalie Mullins from November 6th through November 19th, after which Annalisa Lemming will take over in the role of Rosalie beginning on November 20th. Uh, Jen Gambatis, who's been with the production for some time now, will play her final performance on November 3rd. Uh, this is the role that Sarah Boggess. today, Bogus. actually. Today's yes, November 3rd. Night. Bye, Jen. Yeah. Yeah, man. And this is the role that Sierra Boggess originated Sierra. on Broadway. Yeah, wow. and also uh, Jonathan Gold is join, joining the company in the role of Ned on November 6th. And Badia Farha is joining as Ms. Scheinkopf on November 6th. Lots of new folks. All yeah, adults. New, folks. new adults. Yeah, all the new adults. Yeah. No kids in The that kids one. are still rocking along. Okay, check this out. There's a new TV pilot, and it has music by Stephen Schwartz, who you've all heard of because of the wicked. Uh, so it's called Harmony, it takes place in Harmony, New York. Is that a real place? Let's say that's a real place. Let's say it is. Uh, where residents sing and dance their feelings and their emotions. Did you write that? So I would say both. <laughs> yes. um, when a murder takes place, a detective returns to the town to solve the crime and comes to terms with his past. So it sounds kind of mysterious. Casting to be announced, but we love music in a TV pilot. Yes. Are they singing and dancing while they're solving murders? That's a really good question. We'll I guess find we'll out. find out. And I'm hoping that they get a Broadway person in there to uh, play that lead role. Hi, Jenna Oshkowitz. How are hey. you doing? Hey. There okay, we go, let's keep y'all. Going. Let's make it we'll happen. Keep going. She can sing. She can, okay, I'm just yes. moving on. Um, oh, so, this is good casting. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, Roundabout Theater Company has this Damn Yankees benefit concert coming up, and we got some more casting today. So, Danny Burstein is going to play Van Buren singing Heart. And we yes, right, song. Matt, Matt mm-hmm. can't get, get over it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vicki Clark, Victoria Clark, has, will play the role of Meg Boyd. And they're joining a previously announced cast that includes Maggie Gyllenhaal as Lola and Whoopi Goldberg as Applegate. Uh, amazing. It's a great cast. Amazing casting. Uh, James Earl Jones, who had been announced to play the role of Mr. Welch, um, has withdrawn due to, due to a scheduling conflict, but we'll find out at a later date who's going to replace James Earl Jones. Uh, this casting, or this production rather, is going to take place on December 11th at 7.30 p.m. at the Stephen Sondheim Theater. Amazing. Yeah. Heart. We all love that song. It's a great cast. Here's some interesting news. There's this movie. It's called Hello Again. Ooh. You've heard about it. We keep showing you the trailer. Jenna Ushkowitz is here. Listen, it's opening in 80 new locations Ooh. in Chicago, L.A., New York City, and Orlando. Fancy. Um, and it will be shown in 230 theaters na- nationwide. Of course, this is based on the Michael John LaCusa musical, you all know, and yeah. stars so many Broadway names, I can't read them all, but I'll just say Audrey McDonald, Cheyenne Jackson, Martha Plimpton, our guest today, T.R. Knight, Rumor Willis, Nolan Gerard Funk. I mean, I can go on and on. And that is released on November 8th, which is coming up. Awesome. So also we want to wish a very happy Broadway debut to Jason Mraz, who's starring yes. the Chris. Tonight. And you can hear him singing on, on Broadway.com because we, he did a special event with Betsy Wolf. Yes. And he's also talking and being adorable on the Broadway.com show. So be sure to check that out when it comes out later today. Love it. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to get you up to speed on Hello Again, and we'll be yes. back with Jenna Ushkowitz. I've been looking for someone. Ain't we all? Once you finish looking outside, look within. You. You, my love. Thing. You really think I'm pretty? I want to think. My senator, the philosopher. 
world's better ease. Oh, you're gonna get me a wrinkle. What would have been? How's the ankle today? What sweeter ease? What would have been? I'm looking for someone. You're too young for sure. You're not a virgin, are you? Oh, God, yeah. Be gentle. I don't know how I get to where I don't know where I'm at. Before this time, I think I need to crash the sink. I don't know how I get to where I don't know where I'm at. There's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. I was with someone last night in a dream. A fantasy. I don't know what it was. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to Live at Five. I'm here with Jenna Ushkowitz. How excited are you guys? Yeah! Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Jenna is here. <laughs> Jenna is a Broadway baby, like mm, literally. So yeah. you know who she is. I don't need to say anything. I mean, I don't have to say glee. I don't have to say anything. <laughs> you know all about this woman. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. So good to be here. <laughs> all right. Let's just start with the movie. This movie okay. is amazing. Thank and you. And let's just say it's very sexy. It's very sexy. So let's explain what it is for people who don't who weren't alive in 1994 whenever it came out at Lincoln Center. Um, it it takes place in ten de- de- the ten decades yes. of the 20th century and non-linear, so non-linear. out of order. Based on Laurent, if you're feeling fancy, you need yeah. to know that. But Michael John uh, like used his score and uh, just lusty relationships, love, human connection, emotional connection, physical connection. And obviously, you play the nurse Marie. She has a name now. I feel like in the original, it was just like the nurse. Um, Sort of. Kind of. Yeah. But tell us. Just go on. Just tell us about it. It's really fun. It's really sexy. It's much darker than the stage version. Um, Obviously, like... What decade are you in? I'm in the 40s and the 60s. So you have really two characters, but they're very... Yeah, technically they could be different, but they're the same. Like, for myself, I chose them to be the same and just, like, the same soul in two different bodies, sort of, Mm -hmm. if you will. Um, Yeah, and, uh, you know, she's being seduced, and then she seduces a young college boy, and, you know, one, she's getting her virginity taken, and the other, she's, like, taking some virginity. So, (laughs) you know, that's how it works. It goes around, comes around. And who are your scene partners? Sexy scene partners. Nolan Gerard Funk. And Al Calderon, both just terrible. You know, terrible to look at, terrible to work with. Really, I feel bad for you. I know it's you hard. should. <laughs> so you really have to get up in it with them. Tell me yeah. about doing sex scenes it's and weird. singing. This is singing, yeah. real singing on set, right? This yeah, wasn't you know, looping it in later. Yes, we sang live, kind of like Lame is, and you know, we had earwigs and the whole, you know, just a solo keyboard to sing with. Mm-hmm. Um, It's almost easier to have songs to sing while you are simulating sex because it's less intimate. There's more of like a purpose and you're like, you know, the song is more important than the actual sex. Maybe. Hmm. Um, It's still weird, though. And it was like the first time I've ever really done that. So it's kind of strange, but you get real close real fast. That's all I have to say. Were you anxious starting those scenes? No, I mean, like, we had rehearsal, so, like, it was much more comfortable than, like, being like, hey, what's up? You know, let's have fake You're sex. You're a graduate of Spring Awakening. You know true. all about sexy scenes. True, true. Mm-hmm. I didn't never, I never had to have, you know, I never covered yeah, but you were in the company. But, yeah, I was in it. Yeah, we were all in it. It was <laughs> very, it was lots of hormones. Um, yeah. Can we talk about your podcast? Yes. You have such a fun podcast. This is the second season, right? Yeah, so this is actually, like, the first season of this topic though like right so the last one was more optimistic shall we say more positive positive. this is about failure (laughs) 
<laughs> yes. Epic it's, Fail, it's called. It's called Epic Fail, and it's all about live performers, like, messing up on stage, on screen, on set, in auditions, um, breaking, which I'm very guilty of. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I kind of love, like, these amazing acclaimed performers and the reality of what performing is and being a human being and... Um, for and my own amusement, it's just like really funny to hear like how my friends mess up on stage. And in your <laughs> last season, you have got great guests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell we me were about very some lucky. Of these guests you had. I mean, I had Ben Platt towards the end, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, who was doing his show at the time, Kristen Chenoweth, John Stamos. We've got repeat offenders, so Kristen and John return this year. Um, we've also got your interview with Kristen was so <laughs> funny. Go well, listen she's, to that, you guys. Kristen is. Uh, Kristen Chenoweth, so Correct. she is Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah, and she'll voluntarily like tell you stories and sing at the same time, which is also like really a really good interview, <laughs> a really good interview. I hope you sing for us today. We have so many questions. Oh, we of course people are already asking you if you miss waitress because of course you were in waitress. I, yes, the musical. Yes, I miss it. Um, I'm I'm excited for Jason Mraz tonight. Yay! Yeah. Um, I mean, of course, the show. I still like. The, the songs still get stuck in my head. And like yeah, all my score. friends sing it and they bake and they sing like Sugar Butter Flower and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Oops. So yes, I do miss it, yes. <laughs> and I feel like you worked with every Broadway actor on Glee. I feel like everyone, like, it was like a, a revolving door of talent. Yeah, I mean like pa even Patty was on it, you know? I, know, I didn't right? meet her, but like, we had Kristen, we had Stamos, we had Cheyenne. We had Adina. We had Adina. Who else did we have? Groff. Groff. Obviously. Obviously. Groff. We just call him Groff. We just call him, these I call him dad, actually. That's normal. That's dad. Well, Leah was mom <laughs> and Groff was dad, so. I bet they love that. They do. It's a little fa I saw Groff family. like a couple of nights ago at an event that Seth Rodetsky pr uh, produced and you know, I just, you it's, call him dad? it's very, yes, it's visceral. I'm like, dad! Do you do your, <laughs> your like, crying baby boy when you're with your dad? <gasps> oh, oh, my God, secrets. I forgot. Should we do it? Sure. I haven't done it probably since I saw you, so. <laughs> it's a little scratchy today. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you're Lee welcome. Michelle and Jonathan Groff's baby sounds like. Yes, <laughs> mom and dad. It's such, a, but it's such a good group it's of people, weird. and you all worked together before, and then had this amazing experience doing this. Yeah, show. the show. I mean, it was it was tailored for Broadway, yeah, kind of for Broadway you know, fans, for anyway. Broadway fans, Broadway people to come in and guest, and you and know. Now Ryan Murphy's producing a play on Broadway. He's doing the Boys in the Band, right? That's coming. Reynolds in the is doing. Did Reynolds come on Glee? No. Andrew Reynolds. Did he? No. no. I, I, he was. I on lost girls. the thread of who was on Glee. It no, was too many honestly, people. it's really. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like. How do I know that person? Were they in Glee with oh, me? Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but there what is the most common thing that people say to you, like that fans that come up to you say to you? Um, well, what was first Jesse of all, like, <laughs> oh, like now, no, not just, just Glee general, fans. No, just in general. No, <laughs> they will ask like mm -hmm. Jesse or like who, you know, what song did you did you want to sing of somebody else's mm -hmm. or like, you know, people still the other day I walk here and like people are like Tina, like they still <laughs> call me. Tina, which is great. It's um, it's we're still alive. You made your mark. We're still alive. Yeah. You know? Oh, definitely. Um, Glee will never die. Glee no. will never go away. No, no, no. There's like a resurgence too, uh, for kids who now on Netflix who weren't old enough to watch it who are now watching it. New too. generation of Glee. Resurgence. <laughs> Glee. Resurgence. Glee resurgence. Okay, I'm sorry, I've been um, ignoring you. Reynolds was on. Right. I'm sure that everyone's. Presenting a Tony, Tony to Rachel, Rachel Berry. Berry. Thank you, nice. Katie Beetle, for looking that up. Thank or you Or knowing so much. it, or just knowing it. You have so many um, questions now that Aww. I actually can't keep up with the scrolling, but we'll do our best. Yeah, we're like, you know, it's we're like going to the a Facebook lottery. Live like people. Probably lottery. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. I mean, my gosh. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. For, I mean, this is a great question. Okay. Maribel's asking, are you going to be on Broadway again? <laughs> also, when? Are you going to be on Broadway again? <laughs> I don't question. know. I don't know. But yes. In my plan, yes. Totally. Absolutely. Of course. I'll let you know as soon as I know. You can't waste that talent. <laughs> um, so well, sweet. Abby asks, what was it like working with Nolan? In Hello Again. Well, in both. I We worked with Nolan, but I didn't really, really work with him on Glee. But, you know, like... I think they mean with Hello Again, where you were very close. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was great. We had a lot of fun. Um, it was nice to like sort of know him beforehand going into such an intimate situation, but um, we had a ton of fun and it was really fast, but um, we were dancing in, in like 40 degree weather. <laughs> side <laughs> and he would keep me warm and you know like he was great he was really great it was it was a lot of fun by the way you rocked that nurse's outfit oh I'm thanks just saying. <laughs> i'm just saying was that fun to get dressed up like that that's, that's yeah funny. yeah 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 totally like a proper um like with a 40s cap and, and 60s thing. nurse you yeah, know the full out thing um would you oh abby's asked abby has a good question abby. would you ever do a movie version of waitress <gasps> what well well it a musical a movie. A musical. musical. So there's always already the movie, but that happens sometimes where there's a movie, and then, and then the they have musical, a musical, and then, and then the musical a movie. movie. I mean, absolutely, totally. Right? Who wouldn't want to do that? Before. It's like Sarah B. You know? Yeah. Who doesn't want to sing her music? I can't think. Not of I. Okay, so the answer is yes. Affirmative. 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 Uh, Abby says tomorrow is her birthday, and Glee got her through middle school and high school. Happy birthday, Happy Abby. Happy birthday, Abby. Katie asks, "What is your go-to audition song?" Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, here's the funny part. I really haven't sang like my own song in a, in a long time because normally it's like sing something from the show or the I'm singing music but when from you the were show. Auditioning a lot, okay, wait, let's go. Favorite. Let's go with um, Fine Fine Line from Avenue Q. That's like in my more current book um, because I did the wedding singer someday uh, in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At P- at Civic at Light and um, and. Uh, Sometimes I'll do Stars and the Moon. But it She's doesn't show a ton of range, but I just love to <laughs> sing it. So, Do you want to share an epic fail audition story with us since we were on the topic of epic oh fails? God, um, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Well, no, my Glee one was pretty good. I mean, I'm sure people have heard this one already, but I went in and sang Waiting for Life to Begin, Once on this Island, now being revived. And um, I wrote a cut, but the pencil must have like erased and blurred out the cut incorrectly. So the guy was playing and... I was singing and then we went completely off and so I like looked at him <laughs> to make it like seem like he was wrong. It's not my fault. It's he wasn't fault. wrong. I was wrong actually. I went to the wrong cut. I bet he loved that. But you know, and I was like, oh, I'm something went wrong. You know, like you just make it look like it's never your fault. Good point. <laughs> Good and point. you know what? Lesson learned, you can still get the job. You can yeah, still it can still, you can still yeah, you made book an impression. It. <laughs> So, all uh, right, someone else is asking, what's your dream musical role? Oh. You got to do so many different things I did. where you felt, or felt like you could taste a little bit of that role, whatever it is. I did. You know, um, I've always wanted to be in Les Mis. I'd like to think I'm still young enough to play Eponine. Of course you are. Please. But, yes, you, you know, are. sometimes people tell me that I'm not. And um, Who are these people? We're not listening to them. And, uh, yeah, so uh, Eponine was always, like, a role that I wanted to play. Um, but I do Fontaine, too. I'm not uh, opposed. You know, as a second choice. <laughs> <laughs> Backup. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, tell me, what were you saying to me about singing at 54 Below? What's going on? Oh, gosh. Laura Haywood is doing her birthday party at 54 Below. And it's all like, I guess, her favorite. And what song will you be singing? I'm singing My Junk with Catherine Gallagher, who was (laughs) in the revival of Spring Awakening. I'm one of my very good friends. And so I was going over it the other day, and I don't remember any of the words. That's cool. You can write it down on your hand. I mean, it was (laughs) eight years ago. ago. It was a while ago. (laughs) You have to name names. I just you use my hands names. for the record. Like, I, yep, that's me. All right, everybody asks this question, so okay. I'm sorry that that you're hearing it again because I'm sure you already have. But onstage mishaps, worst onstage mishaps. It, was there well, anything that happened during Hello Again? That were there any mishaps there? Because okay, well, Hello be Again. Um, because we're under such a time crunch for like low budget films, it's you know it's it's very quick. My skirt when I was on top of Al Calderon singing my that song. That was a delicate way of putting it. Um, <laughs> singing your song. Kept, it was stitched to keep it because it was a little big so they stitched it up to make it a little bit smaller and then I would move and it would pop. Popping skirts. And so my skirt would pop and then it would kind of slide down or slide up and it would be like up here but then you could see my booty and you know all the things <laughs> that on a normal movie set that you would experience. Totally normal when I you're would, just singing your song. In Waitress, though, a lot, I would actually, I'm not very coordinated with my hand-eye 
you know, throwing things and we'd have to do the sticks um, and oh, the yeah. drum line and every, you would have to flip it. And every night I'd be like, well, here we go. <laughs> and I would flip it and then I would drop it. And the person next to you really is very kind because Dawn is the one who really needs the stick. So they would hand it over. And then I, I, that one, one night I dropped that one <laughs> and the other one cracked. So I did the little bell with my hand and I went. <laughs> She's so cute that she can get away with it. You know, people say that, but, you know, I uh, I don't know. So maybe not she, special I, skill of yours. Yeah, I, I mean, within the character, not my special skills. <laughs> and also, like, when Chris, fits, you know, throws the bouquet, I have, like, PTSD from a softball hitting me in the face when I was a kid. So I don't like when things are thrown from above. So that was also, like... Oh God, here it comes. I don't know if it's going to happen, but maybe. And I dropped it once and the whole audience went, oh. <laughs> you must be fun at a wedding when they throw the bouquet. You know what? I am because I hide. <laughs> you hide. Back. This is a good question. Zachary asks, what is the best advice you've received or something you wish you would have known at the beginning of your career? Awesome. Um, I tell this to everybody. I wish I was told this more and remind myself more to try to only be myself and not try to sound like somebody else, imitate somebody else, be somebody else, because they're already somebody. And uh, what's going to make you pop is your individuality and your u- uniqueness. And um, for so long, I would sing and I, I can like really adapt my voice to sound like people sometimes. And so like I would be singing the songs like the people were singing them in my auditions and then that's not my voice. And so I wish I knew that earlier. Yeah, it's like that old saying, be yourself, everyone else is taken. I know, it really is very true. Um, oh, Katie's asking, do you think you'll ever perform in the West End or have you? I would love to. And then we'll you don't think see. you'll become British Will you get one of those <laughs> fake British accents? I think that would be good for you. I just saw Amber in the West, Amber Riley in the West End oh, doing Dream so Girls. So good. She was amazing. I cried my eyes out. Mm -hmm. Emily's asking, what other Broadway ladies do you look up to? Oh, man. And um, did you work with all of them in Hello Again? (laughs) Pretty much. I mean, Audra, Martha, um, Rumor. (laughs) They were were amazing. I look up, you know, like Jesse Mueller and Kayala were like two of the most influential recently, learning Mm -hmm. from them and being on stage with them every night. But I also really, um, I mean, there's just, what about I you used were a kid? to. You're such a theater kid. Sutton Foster oh, was yeah. a massive influence on my um, Broadway. Eden Espinoza too. Mm-hmm. Um, Adina, um, Kristen. Uh, who, did, who else did we watch when I was a kid? Um, I'm thinking like Brooklyn time. You know, yeah. like uh, Avenue Q time. Yeah. Gosh, it's crazy. The early aughts. Wicked. Yeah, I saw a lot of shows. Leia Salonga, obviously. And you did a lot of shows, didn't you, when you were a kid? Yeah, I mean, besides I mean, the King a, and a I, good but amount, I mean, just like a good school. amount. I did like Into the Woods and The Baker's Life and Lee Miz and The Laramie Project, which was a play, but still an important one. It counts, yeah. And um, <laughs> and in college, I did Into the Woods again. And the same part. Yes, say? from senior year to high school to freshman year of college, I played Little Red twice. <laughs> it would have been nice to play like The Baker's Life or something, but I guess I emulated Little Red more. I get that. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, okay. Here's a question. It's just one word. Okay. Alphaba? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <gasps> what are you all saying? I don't know. <laughs> no. <I'm just> <laughs> She's about to do it. <laughs> Nobody can top the Jackie Burns that is, uh, that is there right now. Oh it's currently gosh, gracing amazing. the Griffin um, stage. No, I mean, who knows? Question mark? I mean, if they offer. Yeah, I mean. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Broadway, question mark? <laughs> oh, they have so many questions. Oh, now they're saying, if you were in the West End, what role would you play? I hear Waitress is going to the West End. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I. What's there? Lame is. Lame is is always there. Always there. <laughs> Thank, you. there. Thank you very much. That's exactly always right. That's exactly there. right. <laughs> Fontaine, <laughs> Eponine. Um, you can alternate as Eponine and Fontaine. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It seems like you're still really good friends with a lot of the Glee folks. Yeah. Is there like a Glee group text that's happening? Because I need to get in on that. I hear it, about 
<laughs> it, they're there. They're there. And like some of them like split off and then there's two and three and two and four and I don't know. Um, but yes, But it was a are. close group of people, right? Oh, we're still very close. We go to like each other's weddings now and people are, you know, baby showers and you crazy sing things. at all these weddings? No, <laughs> no. They're actually so cool that they have like people who are like actual musicians <laughs> and bands <laughs> that play. Um, no, we don't. We usually have to sing at our family's wedding. <laughs> Do you? I sang at my brother's wedding. Yeah, I sang at my brother's wedding. That's so a couple sweet. Years ago. Of course. That's really nice. All right, I'm going to, we have to get going, but Logan has a great final question. So okay. here we go. Okay. If someone asked you, I feel like this is a plant, but it's not. Logan's always on here. If someone asked you, why should I see hello again, what would you tell them? Whoa. It's time for your commercial. Go ahead. This is amazing. <laughs> I mean, John Lecuse's, oh. Michael John's score, um, the cast. Um, it's sexy, it's dark, it's awesome. Go see it! That's my commercial. <laughs> very, very convincing. Thank you so very much. convincing. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. There's so many more questions. I'm sorry we can't get to all I'm of sorry, them. I'm sorry, you guys. But we got the crying baby. We got a you lot of secrets. <laughs> you did the crying baby. Oh, thank you for coming by. Go see Hello Again. It's opening wide on November 8th, so it'll be at a theater near you. And we will see you on Monday. 